they think something is shifting to their benefit. I think that's right. And look at Steve Barclay, who is a tough Tory who headed the European Research Group, fanatically anti-European. He now, last week, said, sorry for all the trouble, the accusations, the remarks he made. You can really sense peace breaking out there. Joe Biden has also made very clear to the Prime Minister that if, as she hopes, and King Charles III wants, that there's a big US state visit next year, they're not going to happen if the ER, if, if the DUP and uh, you mentioned Nigel Dodds, but the DUP conference yesterday said if, if the Northern Ireland Protocol isn't wished away, we're not going back into government, all that nonsense. So it's a big change, a big change in going into Europe. I mean, I was absolutely flabbergasted. I, I said at the time uh, President Macron invited uh, Liz Truss to come to this European political community, which is very much his brainchild for the, the non-EU countries or those in the, in the waiting room. I thought she'd turn it down. Boris Johnson would have, Theresa May would have, mm. but this is Liz going back to where she was before 2016. On the clear condition, and she was on the record about it, and Macron seemed to acquiesce, was that this is not an attempt to redo EU or son of EU or even son of EEC. Uh, it is to talk about energy cooperation, industrial cooperation and Ukraine. Uh, trust me, Alistair, all the countries there are those that want to get into the EU. Everybody knows that. They're very glad. I mean, the, the common sense is breaking out. And talking about hills not to die on, Sean, mm. my sense is that the steam is going out of the sort of hard Brexit obsessions of the, of the country. I mean, it's not working at all well. We're not going to rejoin. Keir Starmer's made that clear. Everybody's making that clear. But we need new relationships. You had, for example, Suella Braverman saying, I'm going to give lots of money to the French to help to improve patrols and so on on the Irish coastline. You ha I fell off my seat this morning with dear old Nadine Norris, which, you know, her... Uh, affectionate nickname in Tory MPs is Mad Dad. <laughs> and she said, we've got to get rid of freedom of movement to allow telecom engineers from Europe, uh, or, or the ban on freedom of movement, excuse me, to come in and restore, well, start working on the fact, I went up to Liverpool for the Labour Party conference, mm. on the train, 4G disappears, 3G disappears, everything disappears. I mean, we're a primitive backward country mm. in terms of uh, mobile telephony, and we haven't got the engineers, like yeah. we haven't got the nurses, we haven't got the doctors. And here's Nadine Norris, not exactly a pro-European, not in my camp, saying, hey, open our borders sure. to specialists who can do this work.